Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we'll resolve the lead code problem valid IP address. So the problem is that they give us an input string that contain only digits and they ask you to check if the given string is a valid IP address. And the IP addresses are numerical labels allocated to each device connected to a computer network that communicate using the internet protocol. And there are two versions of the internet protocol addresses, the IP version 4 and the IP version 6. So to solve this problem, we need first to understand the characteristic of the Internet Protocol version 4 and the IP version 6. So let's start with the Internet Protocol version 4. The first characteristic is that it contains three periods on it. Those periods are going to be used to separate different sections of the IP address. And every IP address will have four sections, and those sections must follow a specific condition to be a valid IP version 4. All those four sections must be between 0 and 200. So an IP address and our computer are represented by 32 binary bits. So each section of the four section of the IP address must be at most 8 bit in simple term. Each decimal number must be between 0 and 255. So let's see an example here. The first IP address are invalid IP address because this 267 are outside of the range 0 and 255. The second IP address are valid IP address because all the sections are inside the range 0 and 255. So the second characteristic is that every internet protocol version 4 must have four sections and all those four sections must not be more than 12 digits. The third characteristic is that we cannot have any leading zeros. For example, this IP address are invalid because we have two zeros and that's what we mean by leading zeros is when the zeros comes before a number or before the zero. The second IP address is the internet protocol version 6 and the internet protocol version 6 have 128 bits address that consists of eight group digits separated by column and each group of digits should have exactly four hexadecimal digits such as this example each group of digits can represent it in shorthand as a single digit and also leading zero are allowed in IP version 6 so those are the characteristic that must be respected in order to return a valid IP address so based on those conditions we're gonna build our solution so let's say we have this input IP address. First, we check if the IP address are Internet Protocol version 4. And the first way to do it is to check if it's contain a period means the dots that separate the sections. If it's true, we split the IP address into a less binary period. Then we set another condition that check if the list has four sections. If not, we return neither means it's not a valid IP address. If true, we loop over the four section and we set another condition. The first one is that all the numbers must be a valid number between 0 and 255. The second condition is that we check if it does contain a lead in zeros. If one of those conditions are false, we return neither. If all of those conditions pass, we return the IP version 4. Means it's a valid IP address. And here in this example, we have a valid IP version 4. So let's take another input. So we keep the same condition to check for the IP version 4. So first we check if the IP address contain a period, means the dot. In this example, not. So means it's not a valid IP version 4. Means we need to check if it's an IP version 6. So the first condition that need to be true is that this input address must be contain colon. If true, we split the input string into a list by the colon and we check if we have eight section, if not, we return neither. And we set another condition to check if it, each section has have four digits and also we check if it's the four digit or hexadecimal number if one of those conditions are false we return neither if all of those conditions pass we return the ip version 6 and in this input example we have an ip version 6 that's it guys so let's jump at code in the solution first we check if it's an ip version 4 so if the input address contain a period we split the string into list using the split function then we check if it's have four section if not we return neither Otherwise, we'll loop over the IP section and we check if each section has no digits or it's not between the range 0 and 255 or it's have a lead in zeros we return neither. If none of those conditions are true, we return IP version 4. Otherwise, we check if it's have a colon. If true, we split the string into less by its colon.
and we check the length of this list if it's not equal to 8 we return nether otherwise we loop over the section for each section we check if the section have 4 digits or it's have non hexadecimal digits if one of this condition are false we return nether if all this condition pass we return ip version 6 Finally, if none of the conditions are true, we return nether. So for the time complexity is of n where n is the length of the IP address string and for the space complexity is of 1 because there is no extra space used. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.